what happens when you take two separate individual teams that just met each other and give them two hours to design a fully created brief? It sounds so bad. For Scythemen, if they had an esports team. So let me go ahead and give you our team. So for the blue team, we have our team captain, Isaac. Then we have Kurt, George, and lastly, Jolex. Then over on the red team, their team captain was Davey, alongside Ben, De Niro, and Remo. Now the brief these guys are tackling goes as followed. KSI has approached our studio to create a new world for their esports team, Sidekicks. They desire a brand identity that is collegiate, iconic, legendary, and bold. Sidemen are in need of making a logo, marketing material, and a style guide to pass along to their eternal team. These guys will have... These guys will have two hours to fully design this brief. Let's see what these guys got. Hey, just in case you forgot, if you guys have yet to check out my everything pack in the description down below, you get basically all my custom assets and then plus future ones free, no matter the price. I would check it out, that's all I'm saying. Three, two, one, start designing. I do logo design. So I think I'll sketch for one team. And does anyone want to sketch or do the mood board? I do not want to do logos, especially after after the first episode. I'm not touching logos. I also like what Sidemen have got right now with their logo. So we could try and incorporate something like that. So I was thinking one direction should be like, uh, I think obviously like a football soccer club. Potentially lean on something that kind of leans a bit more heavily into the Sidemen. Their stuff's very like minimal. I feel like we could do something like that and then just have like a kind of accent color as, as the main kind of color to go with them. I think we could do one direction with the logo mark into characters. Showing the sidekick part, and we do one letter mark. I yeah, I think the obvious direction we should do is like uh, what's it called, a Rocket League team. Yeah, maybe like Rocket League and like F one. Mm, Photoshop but... is not working. Like it'll do some, and then it will just crash. Collegiate. Am I dumb or do I not know what that word means? I like that text manipulation better than what I have. For sure, I'm just coming up with different shapes, seeing what I can come yeah. up with. Could we do a crown? Uh, a crown, Ooh. Like they wanted to feel legendary. I like that, but it needs to be more bulky. A bulky? You want it to be more bulky? <laughs> no, no, not like that, more sharp edges. Or are we both uh, designing for like a Rocket League team? I think we should end on Rocket League. Uh, but I think the logo should be like universal. So we could use it in other games. Uh, we have like six more minutes. To come yeah. on another. Let's just do SKS with the, the crown. Oh, I, I do like the, the kind of badge. Bro, I just, I'm not sure about the football. I feel like the football might be a bit too specific. Maybe like a trophy or something. Can I have your team captain share the two different concepts that you guys are thinking? I'll, I'll see which one I, I, I think it will work the best. The first concept, sidekicks, crown to show like legendariness and like being superior. You could use a white space to make it pleasing to look at of course for the color scheme we chose a royal but still slightly desaturated look to keep it clean for the other concept we did more of a letter mark we shortened down sidekicks to sks my initial gut reactions i don't know if i would stick to immediately going with this sks kind of idea only because i think actually seeing sidekicks in your vision on the left hand side is probably the most strongest concept now that you have a strong logo i'm gonna be curious what you guys do but uh i'm gonna say you guys are good to move on with the left hand side one can, can we preface as well though De Niro's photoshop did not play ball with him so we couldn't get a mood board for it because literally it, it kept crashed. crashing and losing Probably everything like that's okay i mean you know things happen you know your studio one of your homies might get sick and he has to go so i mean you guys just have to unfortunately figure it out went with like a sleek minimal basically something you'd see around a racetrack because we're going to lean into mm. their esports that they're competing being like f1 rocket league um yeah so their main color scheme would be black and white because again it fits on brand of their xx vodka their kind of original sideman brand has kind of always sort of been black and white okay so the second concept in my stream is to go more like sports football club route uh, I was thinking a badge would be really good. The easier option is number one. I think the harder option is number two. And unfortunately, I'm not on anybody's team. So I want to see the harder option. I think I really, I think I really enjoy the second option here. And I want to see what you guys do. All right, you guys got an hour and 30 minutes on the clock to do everything. So good luck. Left hand side is definitely our preferred. Let's scrap the SKS. We, we should have it in the back of our head. We might need a more subtle logo. I'm thinking if we do the kind of like some kind of collage esque sports graphics like that kind of sporadic approach if you like a announcement video but we would be too much <laughs> yeah that would take a bit of time <laughs> yeah who should they sign SOHQ like oh obviously we gotta suck up to him somehow De Niro have you got your your photoshop working 
Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh, no. Okay, that doesn't sound good. All right, quick Google search. How to crop in Illustrator. I think we could do also like man of the match or something or like MVP. Yeah, but maybe it might be a cool way. It might be a cool way to do it to actually call it man of the match. At this point, I can I can guide, I can coach. You could, you could do a style, coach. you could do a style guide. Everyone check your postures because mine's really bad right now. <laughs> it's my it's screen like. <laughs> if you could make a crown pattern, that would be super sick. Oh, a crown pattern? Yeah, I could try. Hundred percent. How old are all you guys? Uh, I'm seventeen. Seventeen. I'm sorry, but did I just hear seven? Am I 10 years older than mother people in this goddamn? Am I old? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. When did this happen? I feel like we need a SK logo mark somehow. Yeah, this kind of thing. Ah, oh, that's sick, man. I've done make this line like a line. What? That... <laughs> is that English? How's the star coming along there? His brain isn't working, I said. <laughs> no, his mic isn't working, I don't think. So I can see him moving his mouse around, he's doing stuff. He's cooking, but... Oh, he's cooking. cooking. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this looks clean. Yeah, it kind of does. I, I, I screw with it. Not Illustrator crashing. <laughs> no, not like this, not like this, not like this. I beg. Please, no. Oh, is, is it back? Okay, it's back. I'm saving, I'm saving. Save that shit. <laughs> save. Yeah, save. save, please. Oh please. my god. Should we have some kind of saying, though? Quote. All right, who has, who has chat GPT on? <laughs> Hold on, let me let me do this. Ascend to royalty, unleash your legend. Eh? <laughs> oh, dude, this is Fuego, El Fuego. I like it. Could uh, we do the game they text bigger and behind the car? Yeah, I locally like this. Thirty five minutes left. Holy shit! What? I was gonna say take your time, but don't take your time. Yeah. <laughs> Final logo thoughts? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I like that. Oh my god, the text is too good, man. Bro is actually cooking. Who let the brother cook? So what extra sort of thing would a sidekick have or like release or <laughs> do like a foam? Oh, like a foam finger. Yeah, oh, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I'll add some more text and then I'll start animating then. I don't know if you have time to animate. I think I can do it quickly. Say, it's definitely possible. But remember to send everything to... Uh, <laughs> Imagine I just forget to send everything. Yeah. Oh, I'm stressing. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, hold on. Okay, those crowns actually look good. Oh my god. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Just lay it out and get it to Kurt. I'm so glad you put the sponsors in a folder. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> Jolex, how are we holding up on these animations, buddy? I think I'll finish it in time. I think we've done this in two hours, though. That's pretty good. That's huge, man. To be honest, even if we didn't win this one, I'm still like extremely happy with how our graphics are actually turning out. Also, you guys are cool. So, I mean, I was also nervous at first, but just talking a little bit just got me comfortable. Ah, oh, that's it, man. Oh, that's good. I'm glad I let you do that and not me. I don't think two minutes is enough to make a bunch of changes, so I'm just trying to make my current version look more like your guys. The fact that we got the animation done is crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy that it actually worked. Well, so I always think in the videos it's edited, so it's like it looks like everyone's like finishing last minute. But you really f***ing do finish last minute. Like, <laughs> It's been good. Let's go. And just like that, time is up. With that though, I'm gonna be asking the team captains to run through their actual case studies and overall like style guys and just give myself and George, who was our judge by the way as well, some context of what we're gonna be looking at. So let's start with the red team. This is the logo that we came up with. I think that this fulfills the collegiate feel that you wanted while tying in with the Simon's actual brand because most of their brand identity is black and white. I think you'll see throughout all of the brand, we played a lot with typography, color blocking, black and white, because we wanted to give the feel that it was like real sports. Because when you think of Simon, I think everyone thinks of football when it comes to sports. Uh, we want to do a man of the match thing because I feel like you don't see a lot of that in esports or in that wording specifically. We want to do a foam finger because we were thinking of ways to tie in like real sports with esports sports again all right let's go ahead and move to the blue team then our logo main points we wanted to bring out in it was the words in the brief which was legendary and boldness and we also chose leadership we showcased a symbolic crown our color palette is golden coin butterscotch grape and graphite uh, these are really like royal colors we chose built tilting because we found it playful enough for a gaming brand and bold enough to fit the brief game day graphics we tried to keep the branding similar to the color scheme i'm gonna go ahead and deliberate with myself and george I'm gonna let you guys marinate here you guys and talks amongst each other but george if you don't mind can we go scoot 
over there. Let's start off with the actual red team here. First impressions were very, very solid with the logo. It feels very cohesive. It, it seems very real to something that would be created for a sub brand of that. I really like the unique deliverable, the foam finger. There are a few functional issues with the typography where I think the hierarchy is a little bit distracting, but the tone for the graphics feel consistent throughout and I can understand the direction that they were trying to go into. In my heart, do I feel that the overall typography made sense in theory? Because I feel like they went for a collage-like theme where it's just like a lot of type filling the area and space. Did they do enough where the actual form factor and the compositions seem familiar or they actually seem cohesive? Overall, I think their logo is actually like super, super strong. But to be honest, I think the other team had a really strong logo too. The blue team was presented very well. I think their pitch was undoubtedly stronger. That doesn't make a brand better, but it makes it easier to understand what their vision is. The icon, super great. I think it's iconic. It fits kind of what, what they were explaining. For the most part, everything in this is working really great until I get to some of the deliverables. It doesn't feel as bold and aggressive as it did when it was in black and white. The graphics don't feel very cohesive when I'm looking at the Twitter banner versus the game day graphic. Their immediate struggle was their contrast in colors. I'm feeling it's very flat tone with this gray on gray with like a dark purple. The game day graphic is super vibrant with this very much glowy look to it. It feels like a completely different team. And I think I get their objective here. They were trying to go for patterns, the uses of yellow, purples and, and, and whatnot, but I don't feel it was actually there and concisely thought about where they use these colors in certain areas. It obviously leaves us with two individuals or two teams, excuse me, that actually ended up creating great concepts, but they all sort of struggled in the same exact spot. So I guess my question, George, is uh, who do you think moves forward? The point difference of both of you guys, both these teams was six points. The max you can get, I believe, was uh uh 95 85 your path is very hard bro so <laughs> so with that being said the winner of design face off episode two is is red red team ended up <laughs> taking it <laughs> oh <laughs> Just I'm by the then you finally margin. won. <laughs> we believe the cohesivity weighed the most weight, and that's where we kind of scored a lot of our points uh, more aggressively. The blue team, although presentation, logo, even color scheme, everything was great. It was the overall idea of how you guys put it together, and it felt that it kind of missed that mark there. Individually, all of you guys did a great, fantastic job. With that being said, though, Red team? Was that a 3v4 clutch up? It was. I mean, no, no, no. Denaro pulled a lot of weight. We just had to switch a lot of rules. So you guys had a project manager meets presentation person as well. I, I see you guys. You guys figured it out. So with that being said, Sasso HQ out. You're trying to get a key smile and stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys. And thank you so much for George for coming in and, and doing his thing again. I, I, I love you. And also don't forget to follow all the designers down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.